What's going on guys? My name is Renegade. Today we're here for AQW Q&A once again. This week we're going to be answering your questions from my Discord server. So if you want to leave any questions for the next episode of this series, please go to my Discord server. Link is in the description. Or you can leave some questions in the comment section down below or in my Twitter account or whatever. But generally it's probably best to leave them in my Discord server as I can more easily moderate them. And it's just like a big list there of questions and stuff. Yeah, either way, let's get into the first question. First question this week is coming from Nick and they asked, What is your favorite type of video to make? So this is a pretty tricky one for me because it's like I, I generally just enjoy ranting about like random topics and stuff and I'm quite a, con quite a uh, uh, I guess, um, pessimistic person so I love complaining about AQW and so generally videos like um, the botting video that was quite fun to make um, and AQW is too easy, that video there, both those ones quite recently were quite fun. Um, in terms of videos I, I least enjoy making, uh, class comparisons, I don't really like making those that much, but uh, I know that people enjoy them, and they, they are fun from time to time. Honestly, it just depends. Um, Q&A videos, though, they're really fun for me, because it's all unscripted, it's all just me sitting down and just answering some questions, and it, it, I don't know, it, it's just a fun time for me. So uh, yeah, probably these videos, to be honest, these are the most fun ones to make. Our next question is coming from Refile or Refile, and they asked, how many bank pits do you have and what's your favorite one? So I have a little trick that I use to count items on my character page that are similar. So for example, I have all my bank pits that I have on my character page right now. So if I go control F, you can search your character page. So I search um, for the word bank, and that will give me a list of how many items are, uh, like how many, how many um, phrases have the word bank. So two of them, well, there's one item in my house that, that has the word bank, so let's minus one. And then there's one item, one of my bank pets has the word bank twice, so let's minus one again. So it, it came up with 31 results, so let's uh, take that down to 29. So I have 29 bank pets. Um, and which one's my favorite? Um, well, you know, there's there's a lot of them. I quite like the quibble ones, just the very bare bones quibble ones. So I quite like the blazing quibble bank pet. And um, where's that? There's like a... There's a the unlucky quibble bank pit. I like that one as well, um, and I also quite like the. There's like another one, festive quibble. I quite like festive quibble bank pit as well, um, but generally I just the ones I actually use are just ones near the top of the list, so they're just easier to me to access. But I don't really have a favorite yet. None of them, in my opinion, really like go with my set, so I don't really have one equipped. But once I find one that I really like, I'll probably have that one equipped, and that'll probably be my favorite. Our next question is coming from Nick once again, and they asked, if you could revamp your channel and play a different game, assuming you're still successful and, and your fans still enjoy it, what would you play? So this is like a, a really interesting question for me, because it's like, I, I don't really enjoy AQW, so I'd, I'd honestly, I'd rather play another game on my channel. Um, but then again, being, making AQW videos is quite fun, because the game's like quite basic, so it's, I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of advantages, and I don't know whether I'd actually choose to switch off of AQW, to be honest, but if I could, um, and just switch to just another game and just make videos on that game entirely. It'd probably be What's my most played game on Steam? Um, that's Black Ops 3. Now before you start judging me, I don't play Black Ops 3 for like the multiplayer. I fucking hate that shit. I uh, play it for zombies. So I probably, probably uh, switch over to zombies and play like Call of Duty Zombies on my channel maybe because I really like that. I don't know. Maybe Overwatch. But, uh, I don't know. I, I've kind of gone off Overwatch, to be honest. I, I, I did used to make Overwatch videos on my main channel. And then I kind of just went off Overwatch and I was like, well, I don't really play that game anymore. So, I don't know. To be honest, I actually don't. It's kind of sad. I don't really have a game that I find really fun at the moment. It's kind of just I'm kind of just sitting here making videos all day. And uh, that's that's my fun at the moment. <laughs> it's kind of kind of a little bit sad. Our next question is going from Milu. And they asked... What song do you have as background music to almost every single video? Why did you choose that song, and how does it work with using others' music in your YouTube videos with copyright and shit? So essentially, um, I used to use a song that I actually really like called "Galaxy" by Alex Metric. It's a really good song. I still enjoy it to this day, even though I used to use it in like every video. Um, but then they started copyright claiming my videos, so I quickly changed to another song which I'd already kind of been using before called Easy Love by Sagala and it's kind of like a the song is kind of a um, like a it's a sample of that song ABC uh, by uh, the Jackson 5 um, but it's like kind of just pop I guess it's just a song that was popular like last year and I kind of liked it so I uh, 
I looked up an instrumental mix for it, and I uh, found an instrumental mix, and that's what this song is essentially. Um, let me know. I'll, I'll run a poll because some people have not. I've never heard anyone complain about it, which is like the main reason why I've continued to use it because it's kind of like a just a pleasant song. It's just a kind of a nothing song. It doesn't really sound like too, you know, like doesn't. It's not like crazy like garbage dubstep, you know, in the background or whatever. Like some people have. Or it's not like Monster Cat where it's like. Some, some people just hate that shit it's just kind of a nothing song it's not really like a song that you just would despise or whatever but if some people don't like it or if you want me to change i by all means i'll find a new song and uh yeah just let me know in the comments or um i'll probably link a poll in the description like a you know go vote whether you want me to keep the song i have now or change it so uh yeah next up we have a question from quav or quav and they asked, in what aspects do you think AKW is pay to win? Do you believe that this hurts the gameplay experience overall? What would you change if you could? So, um, actually, I was playing with, I sort of got my friends that don't play AKW from real life and that, that have sort of scoffed at AKW before to like log in and just, just for like a joke last night. Um, however, they're like, they play a lot of MMORPGs, and so they're, like, used to the concept, and they, I don't think they, like, obviously, like, it's, it's really shitty compared to, like, WoW and Guild Wars 2 and stuff, but I don't think they, like, really, like, despised it as much as they thought they would, but either way, it's not the point. The point is, we were playing through some content, and, uh, I had the bright idea to make them do the, uh, Nogat Lave quest, which means we were killing the Mana Golem. And so we were killing Mana Golem over and over, and all these items are dropping, and they were just like, just even though those items to, to normal players, like like me or you watching this video, are um, those sort of items that drop are just nothing items. Don't give a shit about them, probably just either sell them or delete them, we don't really care. But my friends were like, oh, these are items that are dropping, I want to equip these, I want to use these, I want to like see what they're like and wear them and stuff, and they're all, they're all member only. Um, and so I don't think there's any point in those being member only, like I don't think that's going to those items alone is going to inspire, you know, someone to purchase membership. I think it's just annoying and it's just frustrating for new players to have these sorts of items drop and for them not to be able to equip them. So I guess that's that's a that's a point in which AKW, not necessarily pay to win, it's just, but it's just frustrating for free players. Because you must understand that the concept pay to win doesn't really apply to AKW, right? Because pay to win means you're, you're gaining an advantage over another player and uh, you're like, you're beating them because of, like, they're winning in a battle with you because of the amount they've paid. So really, pay to win only influences PvP in AKW. And I personally can't comment on that because I've not PvP'd before. I, I, I very rarely PvP. So I, I can't comment on that matter. However, in normal situations, PvE-wise, um, AKW isn't necessarily pay to win. It's just really frustrating for new players in a lot of ways. But along the same, ve along the same veins, most of the content in AKW is playable as a free player but there are often like shortcuts that you can get as someone who's paid so for example farming Nogat, um, Nogat nation house or void the high lord or whatever that would be super frustrating for someone who hasn't paid any money because you wouldn't have any pets you know you'd just be using like Nogat larvae and you know you it, it'd just be frustrating for a free player um and so i don't know i th i don't necessarily think it's the game is that pay to win honestly it, i think a lot of people exaggerate a lot um but in the same along the same same vein it's very frustrating for free players our next question is coming from hoback and they asked when are we getting a video showing off each and every one of your bank pets so yeah i mentioned before i have 29 bank pets and it's because i'm i don't know I, at some point i decided to collect them um i don't know why actually i can't remember why i just decided to but now i've just sort of started and i don't really want to stop so um i don't know 29 bank pets for a video should i do it i don't know i feel like content like that is kind of garbage i if you haven't already noticed with my content, I try and make my content really good, right? I try and make it every video really, really, really good. Like I, I write scripts, you know, I, I do research and testing and I re-record stuff over and over again until I get it right. You know, I, I edit out mistakes. I, I, I generally try really hard to make every video I make really, really good. I didn't do this before on my, on my um, main channel when I used to use, you know, just the name Renegade. Um, however, on this channel, I've really tried to make every single video amazingly good. And so I think content like showing off your inventory is just garbage filler content where someone's just like, hey, I'm lazy. I want to, I need to make a video today. Let's just show off my inventory for a video. Super easy content to make. And in my opinion, that wouldn't be very entertaining. But hey, I mean, if everyone wants it and you guys are really, really wanting to see all 29 in my bank bets, then by all means, let me know. And I'll, if there's enough people that want it, I guess I'll do it. But I don't, I honestly, I don't think... People have subscribed to me to see bank pit shafts. I think they've subscribed to me to see, um, you know, class reviews and guides and stuff. Just like in-depth, interesting and 
informative videos rather than shit like that. Next up, we got a question from Danny or Dan zero eight zero, and they asked, "Do you upload videos that you like to make or videos that usually get the most views?" I do realize that they might be the same thing sometimes. So yeah, I mean, I quite enjoy making how good is videos. I think those videos are really fun to make for me, and so yeah, I I, I think those videos are the ones that get me the most views right now, and yeah, I, I like making those, but um, generally. It's, it's okay, it's kind of half and half because I like making how good is videos, but often I'm, I struggle for topics. Whereas right now, for example, it's Halloween. Evolve Pumpkin Lord has just returned, so it's a perfect opportunity to make a video on Evolve Pumpkin Lord. I'd honestly prefer to make a video on a class like Stone Crusher, maybe, or um, I don't know, just other classes in general are more fun to make those sorts of videos on. But I make it on Evolve Pumpkin Lord because, hey, that's what people are probably going to be interested in and that's what's probably going to get me more views. So that's generally how it goes. So I pick a type of video to make and then I, I sort of lean that video towards a topic that people will be more interested in, if that makes sense. So it's kind of half and half, really. And finally, our last question is coming from Nobody and they asked, what would you consider as the worst class and why, uh, and what would you consider the best class? and why. So, worst class is pretty hard. Um, best class obviously isn't, but worst class, I'll just go through my inventory real quick. Uh, Assassin comes to mind, um, Ninja, uh, Classic Pirate, um, I think Death Knight's pretty bad, Defender's quite bad, Dragon Lord's, Dragon Slayer, no, Dragon Lord isn't that bad actually, Dragon Slayer is though. Um, Enforcer's quite bad, um, Hawk Evader's quite bad as well, I think. I Honestly, I think Enforcer might be one of the worst. Ninja Warrior's quite bad as well. Obviously no class, but like that's just, you know, that's the best class in the game, so obviously I wouldn't mention that one. Um, Rust Bucket, Sentinel, those ones come to mind as well. Um, a lot of these classes I haven't actually used in a while, but um, yeah, I think maybe Ninja or um, probably Rust Bucket, something like that. One of, those, one of those type of classes. And the best class in the game, in my opinion, is Void High Lord, because it's just ridiculous. It does the most damage in the game. Well, it's got, yeah, yeah, it's got the highest DPS in the game. It's got the best, like, survivability in the game. Um, it's got the best... Um, tanking mechanics in the game like it tanks a lot of damage and uh it's got best healing so i mean it's it's ridiculous it's, it's absolutely insane um never has mana problems you know you can one hit some like i've, I've farmed with void high lord like I, I sit there with void high lord and just one hit fucking monsters as i walk into the room ridiculous either way though that's gonna be it for the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and remember to leave any questions you want to see answered in the next episode of this series in the comment section down below or on my discord server or you can tweet me them Either one of those three options is fine. Peace.